Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome so today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite makeup of 2021 it has been a big year for makeup as as to be honest every year is to be honest um and I've got a lot of makeup uh, if you've been watching my channel this year thank you so much I really really appreciate it um well you would have seen a lot of these products anyway um i basically this look i did was my last video so it was my full face of favorite makeup of 2021 um and so some of them will be in this video but i deliberately kept out quite a few things because i didn't want to be really repetitive um but i have so many eyeshadow palettes so many kind of like base products that I want to talk about and I don't want to take up too much of your time because the last video was half an hour long and this one might be just as long as well but um yeah let's get into it so um let's talk about foundations so I have four foundations that I want to talk about the first one is an older one that I tried this year and it's the Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect I got this on like a massive discount at a beauty outlet I mentioned this in that video that I did um, as to how nice this is. I've not tried Too Faced for a long time uh, for many reasons, but I don't want to get into it. Um, and I thought I would give this a go. Um, and it's really nice. The coverage is fantastic. I've not tried it for 14 hours. I never will. Um, but I just love the, the coverage on this because I do need something that's pretty matte and full coverage for my sensitive skin and for my really red skin. Um, if you've seen me without makeup, you would know that I have rosacea. So my skin here is always quite problematic. This covers it up amazingly. Next one um, are more drugstore ones, so they're more affordable. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. It's amazing. I, I mean, I'm going to say that with a lot of these products because my vocabulary, my thesaurus in my brain is not as um, big as it, as it once used to be. But I love the coverage of this. Again, not tried it for 24 hours. I'm never going to because... I don't keep makeup on that long anyway um but this is just a really nice one i like to take a lot of chances when it comes to foundations i don't use a lot of l'oreal makeup but when i saw this and when i saw the maybelline active fitwear which is the one that i'm using today because that was my favorite foundation of the year um i thought you know what they're really known for their base products i needed to try this I absolutely love it. This is in the shade, I think it's like tea, no, ivory. I don't know why I'm going with that word, no, um, with ivory. Great coverage, um, very buildable coverage as well, um, and lasts a really long time, especially when now we're wearing masks. Well, I personally, I have to wear a mask most of the day. So if I do wear foundation with a mask, which is quite rare, um, they do last a very long time. Uh, next is um, MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base. This is the long wear matte finish foundation. Again, very affordable. I think this is like six pounds. It works amazingly. The spoolie is very strange. It's just one of those little stick things. Um, but because I have my ISO Clean palette, I will basically dab my foundation on there and then I'll start using my sponge or my brush and this works amazingly. This is in the shade 104. MUA have become one of my favourite very affordable brands this year and I think I started getting into more last year but they're always coming out with new products that I really like. Um, and yeah, very affordable as well. The last foundation is by a new brand. It's a new sister brand from Makeup Revolution. This is the Real Love Revolution uh, Super Serum. So this is um, a hyaluronic acid foundation in the shade F2. I think this costs about five pounds, but everything in that kind of brand is under five pounds. Like you can get a whole full face of makeup for 30 pounds, I think. Everything is like three pounds, four pounds, five pounds. This foundation is fantastic. I'm not a big fan of the applicator because when you're trying to gather product, you cannot get a lot of product and it's quite annoying trying to get it out. So you only get like the smallest amount, but it's a nice coverage. It's a nice foundation and it costs four pounds fifty or five pounds or whatever. Um, it's really nice, yeah, the shade F2, and it's kind of leaking, so I'm gonna be very careful, but I don't get it on my on this desk because um, 
it's gonna be dirty so that was it for like foundations now I'm gonna go on to blush and highlighters because I have a few of those so one product that I'm pretty sure I chose last year that I'm choosing this year again is my collection gorgeous glow um, blush and if you haven't seen this it's basically like a dupe for like the Fenty ones because of the packaging really I've not tried the Fenty um, products but this is a really nice blush it's very blendable you can get a highlighter version of this as well for about four pounds four or five pounds you can get it in Boots and Superdrug um, I basically buy all of my affordable makeup from them or I get it on Beauty Bay you can't get it on Beauty Bay but you can get it in Superdrug and I really love the kind of glow that it gives me and it just doesn't feel too tacky which is what you want in one of these kind of liquid blushes because this year has been a year for liquid blushes for me as you will see in pretty much all of these so these are like my favorite blushes of the year um first one the next one is the sweet cheeks by nyx um i was gifted this i've mentioned so many times in pretty much every video that i talk about nyx most of the time they send me products to test out don't have to pay for it but it's like gifted and then I give them my opinion this is one of the products and I love the way that this is on my cheeks and it's very blendable I use a nice sponge because obviously using a brush is not going to do much but using a sponge and the way that this kind of blends out onto my skin you guys know I love a really bright blush this kind of turns into like a powder so you can just set it down with setting powder straight away and it gives you the nice glow I basically just blend it out on my hand it doesn't look the same but the way that this is on my cheeks amazing next is quite a surprising one actually this is a super dewy liquid blush by revolution I think again this was maybe a, from last year but I'm loving it this year because I have been so into cream blushes what is going on with me I normally am just a normal powder blush kind of gal and I'm done but this is really really nice again it's here so it's very buildable it's not too cakey which is what I need in a cream blush and that's the same with my flower beauty bomb like I'm kind of going through this quite quickly because I've got so many palettes to talk about but when it comes to this as well this is another surprise discovery for me I love flower beauty and i've mentioned so many times how much i do love them which is drew barrymore's makeup brand and i haven't seen them in Superdrug recently so i'm hoping that they haven't got rid of them or that they're just kind of i mean i don't know i know that like i mentioned juvia's place is um which i mentioned in my last video sorry that juvia's place is now in Superdrug. But I hope that means that this hasn't gone because I love Flower Beauty. I don't know where else I can get them, like in the UK basically, because I don't know what their website is like. I really wanted to try this setting spray in a can. I don't like, it went kind of, I don't know if it went viral, but it went well known like in the makeup kind of stance this year that they had um, a, like a powder a setting powder that you had in a can I really want to try it so if I can find it I will get it um, but yeah when it comes to this blush it was on a sale so I kind of feel like they are getting rid of it which is really sad um, but of course my favorite cream blush of the year is my Melt Cosmetics in the shade Polished um, I kind of feel like I've spoken to death about this but I will continue to talk about it because of how good it is it's not what I'm using today what I have on today because um, it's another brand that I'll talk about in a second but this I have used so much and I will continue to use it because it's so good um, Melt Cosmetics have pretty much become my favorite brand this year um, just because I'm constantly just buying stuff from them um, and I just love this this product so much it's so good um, I'm gonna go on to one more blush before I talk about some highlighters and it is my uh, Be Perfect one, which I am using in the shade Helios. And this is a big package. So this I do talk about in my last video, which is um, my four face of favourite makeup of the year. Um, and I just love how much is in here and how much you need. Like, I think this is normally about £10. The packaging is 
quite chunky but I love the glow that it gives me I don't know if I've got like too much on today because I was trying to be quite subtle with it even though that's not normally me like normally I like to wear a lot of blush but I felt like maybe this is a bit too pigmented which is sometimes a good thing but then sometimes a bad thing because if I don't want to look like a clown on certain days um, I just have to powder it down a bit but Be Perfect have become like one of my favourite brands of the year so let's talk about some highlighters I'm going to go and talk about my Melt Cosmetics one absolutely um, this is in the shade Stargazer you can use this as like an illuminator part of your foundation I've done it once didn't work for me but when I use it as an actual highlighter it's stunning like again I sound like a broken record because all I do is talk about certain products again and again um, you only need the tiniest amount and getting it onto my skin is <laughs> so damn good I know this is a bit more on the higher end so I think this was about £20 for just this um, which is actually I think it might have been more I can't remember I think it might have been about £20 um, but I love it and I'm trying not to use it so often just so I don't use it up um, that's what I tend to do with a lot of my products but I just really love the way it is on my skin it doesn't crack so because it is a liquid highlighter a lot of the times highlighters can like look a bit too flaky or whatever this doesn't do that for me it looks amazing and feels amazing next is actually two highlighters by be perfect um i did mention also my soph does life highlighters set which i actually have on this side i think because i use two different highlighters but this side i think i use it and i absolutely love it but when it comes to other highlighters these are amazing these Get Wet ones are quite old, but I've used them for the first time this year. It's the Stacey Marie one. I got one for a couple of pounds because on their website it was on sale. So I think it's either being discontinued or they're just on a sale. But these are putty ones, so it, whenever you use them, they yeah, have like a massive indent. But I love the way that it is on my skin. Like, it is very glittery. But I like that. I'm not... Um, I'm not opposed to a lot of glitter on my face to be honest these days um, and then the other one is also part of their kind of um, it's kind of in like the same format really so this is the polar vortex in shade frosted this is a very glittery one but I love how this looks on my skin I can't even open these boxes are so difficult to open again it's super chunky and it's super kind of a bit too big but I love the way that this is on my skin I'm just going to swatch it here for you guys like if you can see it because I know my lighting is not so great but here it's amazing I love it and again I think they're about 10 pounds or 10.99 they're quite an affordable brand like their eyeshadow palettes are obviously quite well known to be um you know like collaborations with Stacey Marie and everything like the new anecdote palette I'd love to try that but right now it's a bit more on the higher end for me so I'm not going to buy it just yet maybe in the future if it kind of gets lower in price I probably will get it um, and now I'm going to move on to the lips because again the eyeshadows are going to take up most of the time so the first ones I'm going to talk about is again my Melt Cosmetics one so these are the bullet lipsticks that I got this year that did come out obviously this year um, I don't actually know the proper name for them the ultra matte lipsticks there you go I got the shade double D's and um, last kiss so the double D's one was the first one that I purchased and it's a nice kind of deep brown um, a bit different for me but I'm an alternative gal so I like to use it on days when I want to just look a bit different and just feel a bit different um, and be very happy so I love it um, and then I got the last kiss which is a stunning red um, I actually got part of a sale on Beauty Bay because I get all my milk cosmetics on Beauty Bay because that's where the only place I can really get it um, and this is like my normal type of red so it's like an orangey red but I love I mean these are the kind of only lipsticks that I will wear bullet wise because the liquid ones are more my favorite um, not from melt exactly but as in in general um, the next one that I try this year that I love is my Kaleidos lipstick this is no surprise this is not a new product but um, when I tried it 
for the first time because it's the first time I've used Kaleidos. I love this colour. It is, again, right up my street, my alternative street. Um, it's a nice kind of like deep purple, which is um, what I love. <laughs> it's going back to my teenage roots of wearing dark lipstick and um, just being myself basically, which is so important but I love this this is in the shade I think it's like Queen of Hearts or something um let me see Queen of the Night sorry so this is really great I've got this on Beauty Box by Tammy which is a great website that I've mentioned so many times um and then the last lipsticks that I have is actually what I'm wearing today which is the NYX lip lingerie um I speak about this in my favorites video and then the last one is actually quite a surprising one I got this from just my look I got this part of a set so this is a real love revolution super matte I got it part of a set of four um I thought I would just show you one because the box I actually threw away and there's no point in me like bringing all four of them because they're all a different type of red but this one is just super nice and it is super matte and it does dry down very matte but that's what I like in certain of my lipsticks I know a lot of people don't like really dry lips but I don't mind it like I I feel like it works for me so that those are my base products I'm actually going to clean up my hands and I'll be back to talk about the palettes okay so now let's talk about eyeshadow prepare yourself <laughs> um so I'm gonna start off with some independent brands so two brands that I've been absolutely in love with this year um so the first one is my lowest cosmetics meet me in the underworld palette just amazing i absolutely love the palette i love how well they have done this year with this palette like this was featured everywhere um and i know lowe's cosmetics they have come out with a lot of products previously but nothing to kind of this much hype and when i got this palette because i got this the first time it was released because it kept on selling out it kept on um just everyone wanted it and when i got it and reviewed it i absolutely adore this palette every single shade is just outstanding by itself anyway it's got the whole theme around um what was it called i can't remember but it's um yeah it's outstanding i did have done many reviews on this palette throughout the year my favorite shades are obviously the greens it's kind of like a Christmassy kind of eyeshadow palette so you've got the greens you've got a couple of reds and so many gorgeous shimmers I can't wait to see what Lois will bring out in 2022 I was about to say 2021 but it's definitely not 2021 next year because this year has flown by my god next is by V Cosmetics and this is of course the, Grim the Grimoire 2 palette which I did actually um like re-review recently again I did um my forgotten eyeshadow palette and this was <clears throat> the palette that I talk about I don't know what's wrong with my throat today um and this palette is just outstanding every single color is amazing um and aesthetically this is a like a most aesthetically pleasing palette like the way that the colors are in the rose and just how i know it's a very bulky it's a very big palette um it's meant to kind of represent a book obviously um and just how it works as a collection i really recommend looking at my video where i talk about this palette again because i do a really nice look to but i think i well i like to think i did a really nice green look um but i just love the cosmetics they're cruelty free and um vegan of course so that's amazing everything else they do is fantastic they're very like witch themed and very um kind of gothic which is right up my street this is about 20 i think it's like 29 pounds or 29.99 i think it's still available because it is like a limited edition so if you're thinking of getting this palette I really 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 recommend it so let's get on to the other big boys now and we're going on to beauty bay which is one of the greatest brands out right now like the fact that they're selling other people's makeup but selling their own at the same time and doing just as good as those brands so the first one that i love this year is the utopia palette this is a big surprise for me because in the beginning i was like you know what this palette is gonna have some interesting shades. I got it on like a discount because I think normally it's £10. 
I got it for five pounds, but you know what? The purple shades are as amazing. They are so damn good. Um, I've used this about three or four times, just even by itself or once or twice on camera. And <clears throat> constantly I'm just in love with these two shades. The look that I did do with when I first reviewed the palette, I absolutely fell in love with it. Honestly, like Beauty Bay are definitely that brand where I have not been disappointed with them. There's maybe, there's that one palette that I got recently, which was part of the Golden Era, I think it's called. Um, I didn't think too highly of that palette, but you know what? Every other palette that I have by them has been amazing. So sometimes it's okay to have one that I don't like as much, but um, this next one is probably the best one of the year, which is the Wilderness palette. This is obviously my type of palette. You guys know that green has been like my colour this year. Of course, the palette that I'm going to be, that I used, I'll show you guys in a minute. But this is a, another stunning kind of green, red palette that I have fell in love with. Um, it's just beautiful. And the palettes are so affordable. I think this might have been about £12, £13. And every time Beauty Bay come out with one of these type of palettes, I'm all over it. I didn't get their newest one or the Jade palette, the girl from Little Mix, because it's a bit too big for me and I just, the colours are just, I have them everywhere else. But when it comes to these like own palettes, they're outstanding, they are so damn good. Next is a mini palette by Juvia's Place. I only got this like a few weeks ago, if that, and I absolutely am in love with this palette. I've used it like twice, but I still love the way, the longevity of it. I actually bought the green one a couple of days ago and I haven't had a chance to try it but it's basically the same as this so it's a mini quad it costs £10 um, and if you really want to try Juvia's Place on like the more affordable side I really recommend trying this palette I still absolutely love the packaging I really want to do like a full full face of Juvia's Place because they still have I still there's still products out there that I haven't tried like I haven't tried any of their lip products I think and I haven't tried their highlighters or blush so those are like the next on the list for me next is um, a really surprising product and this is by Colourpop but this is their Nightmare Before Christmas palette I honestly didn't think this was going to be one of my favourites um, <clears throat> but I was pleasantly surprised by this collaboration I've mentioned it a few times um, as to how much I do love this palette um, and I was looking at my other Colourpop palettes that I've purchased this year none of them actually I fell for as much as this one um, the colours like all these colours amazing the pigmentation really good I've just been so surprised as to how much I like this palette I mean I am absolutely in love with the packaging as like more than anything else but when it comes to Colourpop I feel that they're very hit and miss a lot of the times when it comes to um, just the outcome of the palettes because they produce so much makeup I don't buy everything obviously there's no way that I would buy everything from them I did just do a little order from them because they have like a massive sale I think it's like 25% off everything on their website almost um, and obviously that'll be coming soon, I'll do a video, but when it comes to the palettes that I got this year, I think this one was probably my favourite. Um, and then going on to the shadow that I'm using this time is my BH uh, Cosmetics Pistachio palette, but of course my cherry on top one is just so damn good. I'm so happy that I purchased these, I mentioned it so many times Um how much I love them. The blue one is on my list to buy, um, but I mentioned in my last video when I spoke about this um, that I need to calm down on my purchasing and because you can only get it on the American website, um, obviously it's a bit more expensive to kind of bring it to the UK, but when I'm, you know, if they ever do a big sale or something, I will probably purchase it. I just love this red one so much. When I talked about using the green one, I was like, should I use my red one? But then I was like, you know what? I've used so much red this year and obviously I've used so much green this year, but green has been like my go-to shade. Um, but I love the pigmentation of these palettes. They do not disappoint. Like this is amazing i obviously got some help from my p louise um blank canvas but 
these shadows work by themselves without a doubt. Um, the next palette I'm talking about is my Soph Does Life and X Revolution palette. This is... This is so good. I love Soph. I've been watching her for many, many years. Um, <clears throat> yeah, for a really long time. And when I saw that she was doing another collaboration, I was really happy. This green shade called My Man is probably my favourite shade. Um, it's stunning. My favourite looks I've done this year is from this palette. This shade Mirable is probably my favourite shimmer of this year. It is so outstanding and the in fact it's a very affordable palette it's not even i think it's like 12 pounds for this palette it's revolution revolution have not been like my favorite brand this year because normally they are like my go-to brand but when it comes to a lot of their makeup that they're coming out with this year has not been that great but this collaboration i think they did a really good job i love the palette i love the highlighter like i mentioned i used it here um the lip product was okay it's not like my favorite lip product ever but this palette was fantastic next um I actually have quite a few, uh, uh, well like three palettes left that I'm going to talk about. This next one is my Milk Cosmetics, which is my most anticipated palette of the year. Um, I wouldn't say it 100% like pleased me, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> but the packaging, amazing. The actual palette itself is fantastic. Like look at the colour story, the shimmers are so damn good. I really, really love this palette. And I love the way that the kind of colour story goes. Of course, I know I'm doing it upside down, but when you look at it kind of gradually going down, you've got your greens and your nudes, your oranges, your purples. And although this was a bit more on the higher end for me, I was given some money as a birthday gift. So that kind of went towards this. Um, and the packaging like itself, like this is like a velvet type of box. And I never, I rarely keep the boxes when it comes to these type of palettes. But because this is a very special palette to me, because Milk Cosmetics have been pretty much one of my favourite brands this year, I'm keeping it and this little embossing on the front is stunning. And then the last brand I'm actually going to talk about is P. Louise. I have been so in love with her brand this year and especially her eyeshadow palettes. The first one I'm talking about is this mini one called Stack Em Up. I got this part of a budget box, so these eyeshadow palettes did come out separately but in a bigger version. Um, but I got this mini pink one in her budget box and I really love this palette. It's Pink is not my go-to shade. Like I say this all the time because pink is not one of my favorite shades, but the look that I did with this and this shimmer here are fantastic. Let me just swatch this if I can get it because I've got a lot of glitter on my hand already. But if you can see here, that's very difficult, I'm sorry. Um, but this is a great mini palette um, and the fact that these eyeshadow palettes are pretty affordable as well you know like they're not breaking the bank like the one I'll, I'll show you in a minute is a bit more high end but I really love the way that this works as like a mini it's it's so damn good the next thing is the duo drop so this is a quite a recent product that I got um, part of her Black Friday sale um, this is <laughs> This is great. Part of my kind of like green look today um, is just, it's so nice. Let me try and open it. I've got this little protective seal on there still, but this is like a little duo thing. Let me just add some on top of like what I'm wearing because I'm going to take this eyeshadow off when I finish anyway, but I'm going to add just some more here and it will give you such a big oomph of colour. Like I love... I really love P. Louise, like the brand itself, like the makeup is what I'm talking about, not like everything connected to it, but I love this makeup. Um, and this duo drop, I think by itself was maybe £12, so it's not like it's high, high end or anything, but it was, um, it's definitely worth getting this little one if you want to add some punch to your look. And then the last thing, my voice is like running out of breath. So um, the last thing is actually, again, something very recent that I got, which is the um, Watch the Queen Conquer palette. This is the double palette part of, again, of her Black Friday sale. I got this from my friend Jane because she had an extra one that she sold to me. 
um, and I did do two different eye looks which I absolutely loved because I did one side of each on my eye and I fell in love with this palette. I really want to do another look with it again with you guys because it's just so stunning. Um, and yeah, this is, that's it basically. This is my favourite makeup of 2021. God, I've basically got there. Um, it's been a big year for makeup. I know I said that in the beginning, but honestly, there are so many brands out there. There's so much makeup out there that I'm never going to be able to try everything. But the things I try is because of the reviews I watch and just the brand itself that I like and I want to give it a go. Like, I rarely see anyone talk about like Melt Cosmetics or I never watch anyone that talks about P. Louise. I basically just buy it off of my own end just to see what it's like and they don't disappoint. Um, let me know what your favourite makeup has been this year. I am filming a few more other videos which I'm talking about more about the brands and what I want to do in 2022 when it comes to makeup. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social media because I'm always active on there. And yeah, I hope you guys are really good. Um, yeah, let's hope 2022 is a better one for all of us. And yeah, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your support and love. And yeah, take care. Bye.